Welcome to Grayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a quarter circle in, uh, from this quarter circle, which is in this orientation. Two vertical lines are drawn towards a tangent line AB and the uh, length of the segments uh, from these points of these uh, segments. Uh, are 5 and 10 respectively towards AB and we are required to find the uh, area of the semicircle and the length of AB okay so since we are finding the length of AB so we can actually draw a parallel line uh, from the center of the quarter circle, a line parallel to uh, AB to the left and from that point to the right. And this line is actually uh, same as AB, so we need to draw two lines downward towards these two points. So, uh, we actually form two like triangles. Okay. Okay, so next is we label the radius as far. So, this is the radius, this length. So, this length is also the radius, and from this point of uh, tangency towards AB, um, the center of the quarter circle is also, of course, the radius. Okay. So, if this is the radius, then in, since distance is 5, so this length is actually r minus 5, and this length is actually, since the whole uh, width, is r so this will be r minus 10 okay so next is we focus on the angle so let's say that this angle is actually uh, alpha then this should be a complementary angle okay so let's say that this is beta and if this is beta then this forms actually a uh, this angle uh, is should be a complementary for a beta so this will be alpha and since this is a quarter circle so this should be beta and next is this should be alpha for this full this is 90 so this becomes uh, alpha and this angle is a complementary for the because of this right triangle so this becomes beta okay so uh, next is i will shade one of these uh, two right triangles okay so and you will notice that the opposite of uh, angle uh, beta is r minus 5. Okay, so next is we focus on these two right triangles. For this first right triangle and this second right triangle. So notice that uh, this, both of these right triangles have uh, the hypotenuse, which is the radius of this quarter circle for the triangle on the left. And on the triangle on the right, they have both the hypotenuse as the radius of the quarter circle. And this radius is actually in between two angles that are congruent to each other, alpha and beta. And with this uh, premise, we can say that by angle side angle congruence theorem. So by ASA congruence if the two angle in one triangle are congruent to each two 
two angles of a second triangle in our case uh, alpha and beta and also if the included sides are congruent which is in our case the included side is the radius for both i mean the hypotenuse for both triangles which is also the radius of the circle so by angle side angle congruence or asa these two triangles are actually congruent to the each other uh, same lengths or uh, same lengths okay so if that will be the case that these two triangles are congruent so uh, for the left triangle you can see that the uh, opposite the side beta is actually r minus 5 so for the triangle on the uh, right hand side uh, the the length of the segment opposite beta should be r minus 5 this segment and since uh, this uh, triangle on the left is congruent with the uh, triangle on the right so the segment opposite this angle alpha for this triangle this should be r minus 10 because as you can see the triangle on the right the angle opposite alpha is r minus 10 so uh, we now get the segments for these two triangles okay so next is we use the pythagorean theorem since we now have a representation for the length of the two legs and the hypotenuse of the right triangle isolated or shaded so we need to square get the sum of the squares of the side so we can make any side as the first so r minus 10 squared plus r minus 5 squared is equal to r square okay so i have box the sides in red so r square minus 20 r then plus 100 plus r square minus 10 r plus 25 is equal to r square so we can simply cancel this r square and simplify things so we have r square so we combine like terms so negative 20 minus 10 is negative 30 r and this 100 plus 25 is plus 125 is equal to zero and we solve this resulting quadratic equation so we can actually use factoring so uh this 125 can be factored out as 25 times 5 and it will give us a sum of uh, negative 30 but both of them should be negative and negative so the sum will be negative of 30 but the product is positive 125 so that will be r minus 25 and r minus 5 is equal to 0 and we are having actually two solutions so r minus 25 is equal to 0 and r minus 5 is equal to 0 so r is equal to 25 and r is equal to 5 Okay, so to decide whether uh, 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 both of these are a solution or only one of these, so we will check by if r is equal to 5 and if you focus on this r minus 10, if r is equal to 5, then 5 minus 10 is equal to negative 5, so it gives a negative distance. So Using 5 will give a negative distance for R the leg which is R minus 10. And for this leg which is R minus 5, this will give us a 0 distance. So 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. So 
there is since there is no zero distance or negative distance this r minus 5 is invalid and we only get this r as 25 because as you can see it will not give you a negative answer a negative distance if you simplify okay so knowing that the uh, r or the radius is 25 so next is we can find the value of a b so a b is simply equal to a b is equal to uh this is actually a part of a b which is r minus 10 if you, if you try to project the distance above r minus 10 and this is actually r minus 5 so we just need to add these two distances so r minus 10 plus r minus 5 so a b is equal to 2r minus 15 so a b is equal to 2 times r which is 25 minus 15 so this gives us 50 50 minus 15 so a b is equal to 35 units and this is our answer for uh, the length of a b okay so next is we find the area of this uh, quarter circle so the area of a quarter circle is equal to pi so we divide it by 4 because it is a quarter circle and we square this radius so the radius is 25 we need to square that so so this becomes 625 so 625 so area is equal to 625 pi over 4 square units and this is our answer for the area so thank you for watching until the end of the video please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this thank you bye